Christmas cookies sure are wonderful, but there are a lot of pitfalls, and it's disappointing when your cookies don't turn out the way you planned. Here are some of the common mistakes just about everyone makes with Christmas cookies. Avoid kicking off any cookie baking session until you've first assessed the time needed to complete the project from start to finish. Start by searching through trusted recipes to decide on the type of cookie you want to make and how much time you're willing to spend in the process. Read the recipe carefully and note how the time is allotted. Oh, these cookies! I gotta get the recipe from Les. Some cookie recipes don't let you take a break from starting to getting the cookies in the oven. Other recipes might require breaks like overnight chilling or a lengthy cooling time. Many drop cookies will require only the time it takes to mix up the dough, spoon mounds onto cookie sheets, and bake and cool the cookies. Rolled-out cookies, such as classic sugar cookies, require the dough to be chilled before rolling out, and often require that cut-out cookies be chilled again before baking. It's a common mistake to use salted butter in a cookie recipe. In most cases, it won't mean the complete ruin of the cookie, but using salted butter instead of unsalted butter can affect cookie flavor. According to Joy the Baker, unless the recipe indicates otherwise, you should use unsalted butter to make cookie dough. Salt is a preservative and can mask freshness in butter. As a rule of thumb, unsalted butter will last about one month in the fridge, and salted butter can last for three months. If you must go with salted butter, taste and smell it before using to make sure it hasn't become rancid. Can't even make a stupid cookie! If you must use salted butter, reduce the salt that's called for in the recipe by half. Baking relies on precision. Cookies can be somewhat forgiving compared to cakes and other pastries, but they can be easily ruined. Measuring improperly is one way to end up in trouble. If possible, use a scale to measure ingredients. Weighing is extremely accurate, but properly using measuring cups and spoons will also yield good results. To measure accurately, spoon the item into the measuring cup, then scrape evenly across the top using a table knife to level. Ingredients you pour, like milk, maple syrup, water, and lemon juice, should be measured in a liquid measuring cup with marks on the sides. Place it on a level surface and view the hash marks at eye level to get an accurate read. Sugar plays a big role in cookie making. It adds sweet flavor, affects texture, and according to Fine Cooking, even plays a role in leavening. You'll find many different types of sugar at the grocery store, so it's important to know the difference. You can store sugar indefinitely in a dry, cold place, but it can absorb flavors if you store it near pungent foods. In some cases, that absorbency is a good thing. Think vanilla sugar. But if you store sugar right next to your bag of onions or garlic, your cookies might taste a little strange. This is so terrible! Also, you can use white granulated sugar and cane sugar interchangeably in recipes without any problems. The flour you use for cookies is critical. Most recipes will call for all-purpose flour, but according to Joy the Baker, if you're interested in making cookies using a whole grain flour like whole wheat, take care. Whole wheat flour takes longer to hydrate and might yield a coarse or dry result if you completely replace the all-purpose flour. Does she know what she's doing? No, not a clue. The rule of thumb is that you can substitute half of all-purpose flour in the recipe with whole wheat flour. If you decorate cookies with icing, make sure they've cooled completely, unless the recipe says otherwise, so the icing will properly set. Apply any of the candies or decorating sugar before the icing sets, and do so with the cookies set on a wire rack set over a baking pan to catch any excess. Allow plenty of time to make sure the icing is fully set before packing to store or give away. 